Hey guys, Dr. Ben here at the Functional Medicine Center, and today I want to go over why there's no better time to start functional medicine uh, work with yourself, to start your journey towards getting your health better than right now. A lot of people are in fear, a lot of people are in, uh, oh my gosh, what's going to happen, what do we do? But ultimately we've got to look at what is functional medicine, what's going on with people's health all over the world, not just virus related, not just with the coronavirus or anything else like that, but just health in general. And it's a breakdown of the medical model and this is where we're seeing the big changes that need to take place and it's so evident every Every single day with the news and everything we're seeing, not just with the hysteria over the virus and all these things, because really there is no weapon, there is no tool, there is no thing that will get rid of these viruses in people. And uh, that's where, where traditional modern medicine is failing, is they don't have that way to kill this off and that's their only thing because it cannot be support the body. Traditional medicine does not support, it does not build up, it does not uh, it give us the ability to get stronger and fight things off. That's not what it's there for. The drugs and surgery are there to squash, to alleviate symptoms, to get rid of, of whatever the disease may be and just squash it and get rid of it. But it is doing nothing to regenerate, rebuild, heal, get that body working better. And that's where functional medicine comes into play. So whether somebody wants to fight off a virus or somebody is dealing with an autoimmune condition or somebody is dealing with diabetes or fatigue or digestion or brain issues, anything at all, we've got to get to the underlying why. And that's where functional medicine comes into place. We help build up that immune system, we help build up those systems that are out of balance, and we give the body the ability to heal, we give the body the ability to regenerate, rebuild, repair, and take on what it needs to. Because our immune system is going to be able to fight this virus or the next virus or the next bacteria way better than any medication out there. We've got to give ourselves the ability to heal, we've got to give ourselves the ability to function at that optimal level. And it's not just taking one more supplement. It's not just taking, I've talked about vitamin D and vitamin A and all these different things. Yes, that's helpful. It can help with uh, fighting off viruses. It can help our bodies deal with those. But that is not the solution. That is a short-term fix. We've got to be in the best health state possible. And that's where modern medicine is failing every single one of us out there. We have to build up. We've got to get our immune systems working as well as it possibly can. And we've got to deal with every single system that's out of balance. And we have to find the why. We have to get to that underlying why is the body going haywire? Because you know what? You could have a hundred people exposed to the exact same virus and they're not all going to have the same symptoms. If you look back at West Nile, when West Nile was going around, that's a virus, it was in mosquitoes, the research showed 80 to 90% of people that got stung, actually stung by a West Nile mosquito, had no symptoms at all, did not have any issues at all. And other people almost died from it or had paralysis or different things. Why? Because that underlying state of their immune system, underlying state of their body. How much stress is being put on them every single day? What are their hormones doing? What's their liver doing? What's their gut doing? What's their brain doing? Are they living in this chronic, sympathetic, dominant, fight or flight state? And this hysteria that's going on out there and the mainstream media putting it out, this is causing more illness, causing more disease than any virus out there will ever cause. That uh, sympathetic dominant, that fight or flight state that is going on in so many people that are sucking in and getting on Facebook, watching the news, all these things, that is causing more disease, causing more health problems than anything that is going to get into our bodies and do anything. So we've got to calm ourselves down. We've got to get out of that sympathetic dominant state. We've got to fix the underlying systems that are out of balance, we've got to fix those whys. And that's where functional medicine comes into play. And again, there is no better time than right now for functional medicine because this is not going to go away. Sure, there's going to be an, another virus. There's going to be another uh, another bacteria. I have patients come in and they've had strep throat every month for an entire year straight. I have patients that have had shingles 13 times by the time they're 27. We have all these different things going on and yet 
none of that is going to go away by any magic drug, by any vaccination. You know, they just gave three billion dollars to vaccine research and from this stimulus bill, and not a single bit of that is going to fix the underlying problems that's dealing with people every single day. So, uh, if you have any comments, questions, post this below. If you uh, have people that are getting worked up and worried and wondering what to do, uh, they got to take a step back got to focus on getting their health back and got to deal with the underlying whys that their bodies are going haywire. So uh, we're here to help. If you've got questions, if you uh, know people that you know would do well with this information, like or share it and uh, be careful out there, be safe, take care of your bodies and that's gonna be the best thing you can do at this point. Take care everybody.